Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the reorder gesture using the actions class and we would be using the drag and drop in order to automate this one. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned how we can use action class and how we can drag and drop an element using this drag and drop method, right? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to handle the reorder using the same method and same actions class. So for that, let me open the browser and in the browser, let me open this particular URL and let me show you how this reorder actually works and let me go to this website. So you might face this kind of a functionality where you can drag and change the position of the item like this one, right? Now this can also be done using the drag and draw because we are dragging one element and dropping it to the other element okay so now uh, let me go to the eclipse here and let me create a new class here go to the class and automating this automating reorder okay and check this main method here click on finish and here I would be copying all this code from here because the approach would be similar and this will be done using the drag and drop. Okay. So first thing uh, what I need is that I need to change the URL from here, right? Copy this URL and go back to your Eclipse and paste it here. Now we are seeing error. So we need to throw a declaration here. Click on this one and the first thing is that we don't need to switch to any frame here. So I will remove this code from here. Now we need the drag point and the drop point in the same way. So if I go here and let me refresh this one and right inspect this item A, go to the inspect go to the selectors hub here and let me see if we have an id or not no we don't have id let me copy the relative x path from here and let go to the eclipse and here instead of id that would be x path and here in the x path we need to provide the x path of this dragging point in the similar way what we need to do is that we need to provide the drop point here. So for example, if I need to drop it here on D so that my A should come after the D. Okay. So this is what I need to do. So let me refresh this one. And again, here, let me inspect this item D here. And let me copy the relative X path from here. And let's go here. Let me change it to X path and I need to provide the X path here and rest would remain same because this is the actions class. We are passing the driver and using this act, we are actually calling the different methods. So using this drag and drop, we need to provide drag point, drop point, then we need to build and we need to perform. So that's what we need to do and let me save this one and let's run this one and see what happens so let me run this one and here it will open the website and see either it will drag the item or not so yes so from here eventually at first point initially it was item a then we need to put item a after this item d so that we can have a new order of items, which is B, C, D, A, and E, right? So that's how you can actually automate the reorder functionality or the gestures using the actions class and the drag and drop method available in the actions class. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.